please welcome to class. Um, just keep in mind today, I'm gonna have my computer right there. My watch died and I didn't have time to charge it before recording this. So I just wanna make sure that we don't run over on time. Um, but yeah, welcome to class, happy Tuesday. Um, let's begin seated on our mat. Today's class will be a little bit more focused, still on hamstrings and some chest and back, but also just keeping your heart rate up um, so that you can work to keep your mind free of everything else that's going on in life and really just focus on surviving. <laughs> surviving class and surviving that elevated heart rate today. So let's start seated on the mat, palms resting on your lap as per usual. And just breathe. everything that's going on in the world today, all of this craziness, all this drama, all this negativity, all this anxiety. It's important to remember to still make time for yourself. So coming to this class and just giving yourself this 30 minutes, this permission to give yourself 30 minutes of being present on your mat, in your space, in your body, in your heart, as opposed to being constantly in reacting mode, um, I think is very, very beneficial. So just give yourself grace to be present for the next half hour. Let's take one more deep inhale, feeling that belly expand, feeling your back expand, your ribs expand, and let it go. Starting with a nice seated, easy twist, right hand behind you, left hand to the outside of your right thigh, and gazing over that right shoulder, if that's okay for your neck. And gently letting that go over to the other side. Inhale, lengthen, exhale to twist. And exhale, release. Let's bring the hands to interlace behind your head. And just drop your chin to chest. Let the elbows fall so that you're using the weight of your elbows to weigh down your head. And from here, gently curl down the spine so you should feel a really intense sensation up your mid back and upper back, maybe lower back, depending on how tight you are. Good, then release the arms and roll your head back up. Just drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And the left arm reaches to the left. Good, roll chin to chest and back up. And left ear, left shoulder. Right hand reaches. And chin to chest. And roll it up. Good. Let's make our way onto our backs. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this to the camera just so you guys can see what we're going to be doing. But we're going to take a spinal twist, okay? So imagine this is me in a spinal twist on the ground, you're gonna reach your left arm flat on the ground and your right hand on top of it. So this is me laying on, on the mat, okay? And you're gonna take your top hand, arc it overhead, trying to keep those fingertips in contact with the floor until you work it all the way to the right side. Your chest will now be up to the ceiling, but your lower back and your hips are still facing over to the left, okay? And then you're gonna take that right hand, high five, on top of your left hand. Again, we open and high five. Good, pause for a second. I'll lay on the ground and do this with you. For those who were confused by that visual. But yeah, you have your left leg straight, 
Right knee is across, left arm is flat, right hand on top of that hand, and then right arm arcs overhead. Reach your knee away from you. Work that right shoulder down to the ground, chest up to the ceiling, and high five. We'll go two more, and open. Press the right shoulder towards the earth, and high five, one more, and twist, and high five. Good, make your way to the other side, so scooch the hips to the left a little, right leg is straight, left knee across, right arm straight, left hand on top, left hand reaches up and over, Woo. good, high five, four more, and arc it, open, 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 and high five, three more, twist, actively reaching your left knee away from you, two, Five, last one, arc it up, and high five. Good, from here, let's lay on our backs. We'll take a stirrup stretch, single leg. So left leg long, hug the right knee in first. Let's just warm up the hip a little. And bring that right knee up towards your right shoulder. Bring in some little hip circles here. Circle that knee three times to the right, three times to the left. And then for our stirrup stretch, grab the outside of your right foot. Elbow is to the inside of the knee, sort of like a happy baby, but just one leg at a time. And release your head down to the ground. You want to pull that right knee towards the floor and your right foot is as if you were going to stomp on the ceiling. From here, you really want to engage that oblique so that your left hip is still down on the ground. You're not just falling over to the right hand side. And then kick into your hand. Exhale, moving into figure four, bend your left knee, bring that right ankle to your left thigh, and then you can thread the arms through, grab the back of your left leg. Gently release that, straighten out your right leg. And other side, we'll hug in the left knee. And knee up towards the shoulder. And little circles. up stretch grabbing the outside of your left foot and then foot stomps up to the ceiling Moving into figure four, bend that right knee, place your left ankle on that right thigh, and then hug it in. You want to actively press the left knee here away from you so you're not just relaxing into this. 
but actively pressing it out, working towards getting that knee almost in line with your ankle if you can. One more inhale, exhale, gently release. Let's hug both knees in, rock the length of the spine a couple times. And then make your way into tabletop, rolling over the knees, wrists under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Fingers spread nice and wide and then grip the mat with your finger pads. Keep the toes tucked here. We'll work through three cat cows. So inhale, stick your butt out, drop the belly, gaze forward. Exhale, tuck the tail, then press your back vertebrae as far apart as you can get them. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, round it through. Last one, inhale. And exhale to round. Take our right arm, inhale, reach it up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread it under, right shoulder down to the ground. And left hand can reach forward to help you twist deeper into this. Good, left hand back under the shoulder. Inhale, right hand high. Exhale, release. Other side, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread it through. right hand under the shoulder. Inhale, twist high. Exhale, tabletop. Now let's just press it back to our first downward facing dog. In your first down dog here as usual, pedal through the feet. Shift the heels to one side, then the other. You can bend the knees a lot and just work to sit your hips higher up in the air. So you have a nice flat spine here. And from here, let's just inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through, low lunge, back knee to the ground. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze your shoulders. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale, plant the hands. Three-legged dog, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, down dog. Left side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through, back knee down. Inhale, those arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, tall. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. And adding on, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, pyramid pose. So you'll lift up that back knee, scooch the foot in, straighten out your front leg. Good one. 
one more breath in. Exhale, bend that right knee, step your left foot back, come up high, lunge, arms up. Breath in. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pyramid pose. Gently. Inhale, crescent moon. Sit a little deeper. Inhale, exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Check with how already your hamstrings might be feeling a lot looser than that first down dog. I know mine do. And adding on, inhale right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pyramid pose. One breath. Exhale. Inhale, bend that right knee. Exhale, crescent, step it back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, half moon. So you're gonna propel onto that right leg. Left foot comes Hip stacks on top of the right hip, lift up out of your lower back. And then left arm up to the ceiling. This is very hard on carpet. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, standing splits. Drop that left hand down, chest to knee here. Breath in. Exhale, step your left foot outside your right foot forward fold. From here, inhale halfway up, flat back, find your balance, squeeze your thighs. And then inhale, reach your arms forward, arms to ears. Exhale, rise up to standing. Inhale, exhale, uncross the feet, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pyramid pose, plant the hands, step that foot in. One breath. Exhale. Inhale, bend your left knee. Exhale, step it back, crescent. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, half moon, propel forward. Stack your right hip. Flex that back foot. Maybe arm reaches up.
one more breath. Exhale, square those hips, standing splits. Breath in. Exhale, right foot steps outside the left and fold. come up to that flat back. Exhale, arms reach. Inhale to rise. Exhale, uncross the feet, hands to heart. Then close the eyes, catch your breath. And let's just do a side bend here. So arms reach up. Interlace all fingers except for your thumb and index finger. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, and then just lean over to the right like a moon. Chest up to the ceiling as much as you can. So you stay open through the heart. Inhale to rise. Exhale to the left. Inhale, rise. And exhale, forward fold. Let's widen the feet hip width apart. And just take a rag doll, grab four opposite elbows here, hanging this forward fold for a moment. Bring your weight into your toes. Good, and then release your arms down. Inhale, come up flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step your right foot back. Keep the knee up and we'll take an easy twist. Left arm up to the ceiling. And then moving into cow face, release the right hand down, take your right knee, bring it underneath your left knee and sit. So you should be facing the left side of your mat here. Sit up tall, work to stack the knees and then just fold over. back to the front of your mat, plant your hands, step that left foot, step the right foot back, inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog, exhale, left foot down, inhale, right leg high, exhale, step it through, easy twist, inhale, right arm up, scoot your back foot so that your toes are right underneath your heel and you can actually stretch the arch of your foot. Breath in, exhale, right hand down, and move into cow face. Right knee on top, the left knee, sit up tall, and then hinge it forward. back to the front of the mat, plant the hands, and inhale, right leg, three-legged dog, exhale, final down dog here, 
just real quick so we can check in with how your hamstrings may feel different, how your shoulders may feel a little different than your first down dog. Good, and then just drop the knees. Let's do our toe stretch. So tuck your toes, we'll sit the hips to heels. This is how we'll finish up before our final Shavasana. Hang here for about another minute. If it gets to be too much, come out of it for a moment. But really try to find some stillness here. Our feet are so tight in our shoes during the day. We don't, we no longer walk and articulate through the arches like we're supposed to. Shoes actually do us a real injustice. So it's important to take this time to restretch those arches. Nobody has flat feet. If you have flat feet, your muscles are just really tight, giving the illusion that your foot is flat. Fun fact. 20 more seconds. Good, yeah, we come out of it and tap your toes on the mat. And just cross your ankles, make your way onto your mat. We'll only take about a two minute Shavasana here. So if there's anything else you need to do, you're free to do that here as well. Press into your elbows. Make sure your shoulders come under you, palms up. Eyes closed. And just take a two minutes to close out our practice. Slowly begin to deepen your breathing. Bring awareness back to the body. Wiggling fingers, toes. Stretching the arms overhead. Bringing your knees into your chest and making your way into fetal on whichever side you'd like today. Once you're ready with eyes still closed, press yourself back up to seated. And bring your hands to meet at heart center. We'll take one more breath together. Exhale all your air out. And take a nice deep belly inhale. Again, feeling that rib cage expand, feeling the belly expand. And let it go. Thank you all for being here today. See you next week. Namaste.